Hi and welcome to Imaginality. In this video I'm going to give you a quick overview of Imaginality Create. This is the software that we use to create augmented reality modules. We're going to do this with in a practical example. So the first thing you want to do when you create a module is you want to add some 3D models. And so we come in here to add a 3D model and we've got some options. We can add a model from a file, we can add it from SketchUp, or we can add a 2D image and have that essentially converted into a 3D model. So we want to just add a 3D model from file. The Imaginality comes with some sample 3D models and so we will select some of those. We're going to use the earth and the magnifying glass. So I've selected the earth and if I hold down control and click on the magnifying glass I can select that as well. So now we have the 3D models up in this area and these are essentially the objects that are being assigned to paddles and everything to the right here is relating to the model that we have selected. And below we have the assets. These are sort of the supporting materials, the textures that, that make the handle of the magnifying glass look like wood, for example. And then below that we have some other features that we'll come to later. So, as we can see, the um, earth has automatically been assigned to paddle 1 and the magnifying glass has been assigned to paddle 2. And we don't want to change any of the default settings here in this, in this case, but we will add a quick rule. So simply hit plus to add a rule. And so rules are made of uh, triggers and results. So a trigger is an event that causes something to happen, in this case proximity. So when the magnifying glass gets close to the earth within 160 millimeters, then something's going to happen. And so now we can define what's going to happen. Uh, being in a magnifying glass, we want it to resize. And so we want to resize the earth, and we want it to get 140% larger in the x, y, and z axes, so that it scales up uniformly, it doesn't distort. We could have it just stretch in one axis, but that's not what we want to do here. So we're done. Uh, let's have a look at that in webcam mode. So there's our earth, and there's our magnifying glass, and when we put the two together, the base is turned green, which is indicating that the rule is in action, and the earth is getting bigger. Simple as that. And if you don't have a webcam, that's no problem. Just run it in mouse mode, and all the real paddles will now be virtual paddles, with all the same 3D objects and all the same 3D interactions applied. So that's a fantastic way of still being able to use imaginality, even if you don't have a camera, or it's broken or lost. So from here, you've got some options. You can view the code that was used to create this. You, a lot of people won't want to do that, but if you get to the point where you want to start looking at programming, this is a really good introduction to programming. Uh, you can, if you fill in the source of information, you'll then be able to share this module with the internet, which is a fantastic way of letting other people see what you've been working on. And, and then you can also save the module for later use. So that's a brief introduction. Um, you can get a whole bunch more uh, examples of things that you can do with the builder by clicking on this link and also help on the various features. Thanks.